Hi, Todd Vandenberg here with Vandenberg Capital Management and another Uncommon Sense update. So the first quarter of 2019 is officially in the books and by any measurable standard, it was a good quarter. The markets you know, were up solidly for the first quarter. Uh, and as a matter of fact, it was the best start to a year since I think 1998, you know, 20 plus years. So we're, you know, we're, we're happy about that, but we're not too overly excited because the first quarter of 2019 comes on the heels of the fourth quarter of 2018. And also by any measurable standard, that was not a good quarter. So if you were Rip Van, Rip Van Winkle and you had gone to sleep six months ago and you woke up yesterday and you looked at the value of your por portfolio, you know, you'd, you wouldn't be happy, you wouldn't be sad, you'd, you'd think maybe not too much happened in the prior six months. Maybe you go back to sleep and you know wake up again sometime in the future. We're not recommending that people go to sleep on their investments, but you know this kind of volatility is the new normal and it's why we follow the fundamentals so closely is we wanna make sure that we're not you know getting out of a market simply because the market's down and we wanna make sure that we're not being lured in just because the market's up we rely on valuations and the fundamentals, and we think you should too. But that's not what today's update is about. Today's update is about the jobs number. So ADP this morning released a number that said that the U.S. economy added, they think, 129,000 new jobs last month. And uh, that comes on the heels of the prior month where they thought we added about 20,000. Uh, the most current number, the 129,000, is well short of their uh, uh, estimate or expectation of, I think it was 173,000 jobs. So it, 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 you know, the, the jobs number, according to their data, you know, they might indicate that they're, we're in a slowing job market or a slowing economy. And that's certainly what the headlines are saying, that the headlines are all over how this is evidence of a slowing economy. But before we jump to that conclusion, we really would think we, you should be looking at another number in, in, in combination with the, uh, un, uh, the number of job openings or jobs added, and that is what's called the JOLTS, J-O-L-T-S number, and that's really the job openings number. So forget the number of new jobs added for a minute. The, the job openings, the number of jobs that don't have a body that where employers are trying to find somebody to take the job are up around 7.6 million right now. That's almost as high as it's ever been. The, the high water mark was just a few months ago. You know, just a handful of years ago, there'd be three, maybe four million unfilled jobs. Now we're sitting at 7.6 million unfilled jobs. So if you think about adding new jobs versus a job openings number, if you're an employer, why are you gonna add a bunch of new jobs when you already have lots of jobs that you really can't find anybody to take? or at least you're having a hard time finding the right person for the job. So we're watching these two numbers pretty closely because as, as long as there's a lot of unfilled new jo unfilled jobs in the US, if there's really no incentive for employers to add a, a, a huge number of new jobs until they can sort of bring that number down or get it more in line. And so we're gonna watch these numbers pretty closely, but we don't think that it's just pure evidence of any sort of economic uh, uh, turmoil to come or a market collapse or an, an economic collapse in the US, you know, far from it. I mean, if you think about, you know, let's say that employers stopped adding new jobs for three months, just that number was zero. Man, the media would be losing their minds. You know, economy adds no new jobs for three months. It's, it's the end of days. But if the JOLTS number went from, so let's say every month, 200,000 new people took one of the open jobs and now the JOLTS number went from 7.6 million to 7 million, would that really be a bad thing? I don't think so. If you have 600,000 new people that are employed that weren't employed before, the fact that we still would have 7 million unfilled jobs would still be a ridiculous number of new jobs and would not be in any way an indication of a collapsing economy or, or a collapsing, uh, an impending collapse of the stock market. So, Keep these, these things uh, uh, in mind as you're you know, watching the media and following your portfolios. We certainly do it every day, and we think you should too. And uh, that's it. So that was your update. If you have any questions, I'm certainly here, and we'll, we'll happily answer them. You can email me. You can text me. You can reply to this video. Anything works. I'll, I'll happily respond. But that was your update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a like, give us a share, and I'll be back next week with another Uncommon Sense update. Thanks for watching. 
If you'd like to be the first to hear of more Uncommon Sense updates like these, please click the subscribe button below. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again. Thank you.